So uh, I think we should get started. Um, so this next talk is uh, Piotr Ozarowski, who is a member of the Python application packaging team and the Debian Python modules team. Um, so uh, welcome. He's going to talk about packaging Python modules and applications and uh, how we can do that uh, more and better for Debian. So everybody, welcome uh, Piotr. I'm from Poland. Um, today I will try to convince you that uh, packaging Python applications and modules are not that scary after all. I maintain or sponsor over a hundred packages and recently I was added to the Python defaults uh, uploaders so you can blame me for all the recent uh, bugs in this package. I introduced some already <laughs> and fixed all of them, at least the ones I know. And today I will briefly uh, talk what, about what you have to do before invoking help Python helpers uh, about uh, recent changes in Python policy because we introduced some uh, for Python 3. We want to treat Python 2 and Python 3 as two completely, completely different uh, languages. Uh, I will try to convince you to use uh, um, stdep. It's, it's a um, uh, tool written by Andrew Stroh. It creates uh, really nice templates for, for uh, Python packages, Debian Python source pack and uh, binary packages. Um, and later I will uh, talk about uh, two new helper tools I wrote recently, DHPython 2 and DHPython 3. Uh, um, originally I wanted to, to just improve DHPython, but later when we decide to uh, split Python 2 and Python 3 packages, the, the stack is completely separate now. Uh, I decided, uh, decided to uh, introduce two new uh, helper tools. tools. One of them uh, will uh, work with uh, um, files for Python 2, and uh, DH Python 3 will uh, handle uh, files for uh, Python 3. And at, at the end of the talk, I will talk a little bit about our teams, Python applications packaging team and uh, Debian Python modules team. Um, I will point you to the um, page one where uh, you can join us and uh, um, talk a little bit about about our teams. So first, uh, stdep. It's a really nice, as I said before, it's a really nice uh, tool that um, doesn't have much popcorn yet, but uh, it's worth uh, to start with it uh, when you uh, package a new module or, or application. It, uh, uh, it does something similar like uh, DHMake, but it's focused on uh, Python uh, packages, at least the ones uh, which use uh, setup tools or these two tools. So the, uh, you can install it, uh, it's packaged al already in uh, testing and uh, unstable. Uh, you can install this binary package uh, and it will provide, among others, uh, these three uh, um, commands, pypy install, py to dsc and uh, uh, an extension to, to these utils. Uh, um, Actually, a lot of uh, upstreams uh, rec recommend uh, sudo easy install and package name to install their uh, stuff, but we really don't like it because it uh, creates a lot of mess uh, in the directories that are not supposed to be used by users, especially it in Python 2.5 and, uh, and older ver versions. The things uh, changed a little bit in Python 2.6, but uh, we still don't recommend to use 
at least this pseudo part so that it will not be installed uh, system wide and uh, instead uh, please recommend to users to use pypy install and uh, then what uh, usually you pass to easy install uh, what pypy install do uh, it create downloads uh, the tarball from pypy uh, so so far, the same what Easy Install does. But instead of uh, installing the files to mm, to user uh, local site, mm, Python site packages, it creates a Debian package, binary package, and installs it so that uh, you can now uh, take advantage advantage of all uh, all uh, things you can do which uh, with Debian packages like uninstall, for example, because with uh, easy install, you cannot really uninstall files. There is a command, but uh, if you, for example, inst use easy install to install uh, uh, pylons, uh, pylons will download a lot of dependencies, and uh, when you will try to uninstall it using uh, this stuff, it will leave all the files in your file system, and uh, uh, you will, it's really hard to to clean after easy install. So just uh, recommend to users to, to use PyPy Py, Py, Py install if, uh, if there's no Debian package for, for something they want to use. Uh, if, you are, if you want to start uh, to create a source package, uh, it's really uh, good to start with uh, Py2DSC. This command will uh, mm, unpack this uh, tarball and create a mm, Debian source package with a Debian directory control file and so on. Uh, it's still not, uh, you can, still cannot uh, use uh, this source package uh, and di uh, upload it directly to Debian repositories because you, for example, have to fill in Debian copyrights, but it's really close to what you will get at the end. Uh, it, so it's much better than uh, DH uh, make. And if you already have uh, an unpacked uh, tarball with the uh, uh, sources and uh, with a setup, setup py file, you can just invoke the, the mm, uh, last command and it will create Debian directory and all the files uh, inside that normally py2 DSC creates. And uh, recently, we introduced some uh, changes in uh, policy. Uh, as I said before, we want to s separate uh, Python 2 and Python 3 uh, so that uh, mm, the interpreter itself will be available as Python 3, not Python. Python will still uh, point you to Python to the default, one, default version of Python uh, 2. Uh, and uh, we decided to name all the binary packages with the Python free prefix. Uh, and so instead of Python foo, uh, when your package provides uh, Python uh, files for Python free, you should name it uh, Python free foo, where foo is uh, the thing you type after uh, import something in to, to import the module. Please remember about uh, this because uh, People, a lot of people uh, choose to uh, name their binary package after what upstream uh, calls their, uh, their uh, module, uh, their uh, complete package, and not uh, after the module itself. When your package provides uh, more than one uh, uh, module, then it's okay to, to use it, but mm, our policy suggests to to use the module name as in the uh, binary package. And uh, there's a another tool, Py versions, which uh, mm, helps Dev Helper, uh, CDBS, and other uh, and DH7 to uh, list uh, mm, versions supported by source package. Uh, it uses it, for example, to build extensions for all uh, all Python versions currently supported by by Debian. Uh, I will tell a little bit later how to feed these tools in your source package. 
Uh, one of the ways to fit it is uh, XS Python version. It's used by all helpers tools. And uh, for uh, this, uh, this field will be used only for Python 2 uh, versions. If you want to describe the same way uh, versions, uh, Python 3 ver supported versions, please use X Python 3 version. Note the, that there's no S in this field. Uh, we decided recently that it's not really uh, useful. Uh, Jakub Wilk and uh, uh, while working on uh, Python 2.6 transitions, noticed that uh, XS is not really uh, useful and uh, they were exported to source files uh, only to help uh, and um, XB Python version uh, only to help uh, release managers. But uh, as Jakub noticed, it's not really helpful. So we, for Py Python 3, we will not use it anymore. It, was, it uh, has only X now. So it will be in control five file, but it will not be uh, exported to any uh, changes or, or DSC uh, files or, or to binary packages. So what to do before invoking helper, helpers themselves? Uh, first, you have to uh, describe supported versions by your um, source package. Um, I will mm, uh, tell about how to do it in each helper uh, in few minutes. Few minutes. Uh, Py versions, as I said before, will uh, uh, read this data and uh, uh, return a subset of supported versions uh, for mm, supported by the mm, source package. Um, then you have to, if you uh, if your uh, package provides an extension, you have to mm, build the band on uh, Python all dev. Um, to get all the header files for all uh, Python versions. Uh, you, your package, if your package provides Python uh, files and uh, uses uh, Python helpers, you have to depend on one of these uh, packages. Uh, these are virtual packages that uh, depend on currently supported default Python version, uh, on uh, Python dev depends also not only on uh, the default one, but are also on uh, headers for uh, default uh, Python version. Python all will get you all uh, all Python uh, interpreter packages currently sub supported by by Debian, and Python all in, uh, the back will uh, get you the same for the back and for interpreters. Uh, compiled with uh, the bug uh, support. Then you have to, when, once you already know uh, which Python versions uh, your uh, source package supports, you have to install files to standard Python locations. So into, for example, for Python 2.5 to user lib Python uh, 2.5 site packages, uh, or to user local lib python 2.5 uh, and most uh, helpers will uh, uh, will uh, move the files to the right location so even if you install to user locally they will be moved to uh, to the right location but uh, try to uh, set the prefix correct prefix or uh, new flag install available only in uh, python introduced uh, python introduced by debian uh, install li layout dev. Uh, this is even more important uh, in Python 2.6 because uh, in Python 2.6 we decided to uh, change the default prefix uh, to user local. And uh, another big change is that uh, by default uh, Python 2.6 will not only install to user local, so easy install uh, will uh, not mess with our files, uh, but also uh, Python 2.6 will uh, look for uh, files in uh, dist packages instead of site packages. Uh, this is 
introduced because uh, if us when users uh, compiled their local versions of, uh, uh, of Python, uh, there was a conflict in, uh, on the syspath uh, where uh, system provided uh, Python used the same uh, location uh, which, uh, with, uh, as uh, Python compiled by users. For example, uh, user local lib Python 2.5 side packages uh, is in the syspath uh, pro, uh, system, uh, system Python's syspath and in the um, Python compiled by users. And so if, uh, for example, user wanted to install some, some stuff for uh, his local compilation, uh, they automatically appeared in the system-wide uh, Pythons. And uh, to avoid this problem in Python 2.6, uh, system Python will use these packages uh, instead of side packages. And uh, local, locally compiled Python uh, will still use um, side packages so that there, there will be no conflicts anymore. Um, but uh, if you want to, so by default, user local and these packages uh, in uh, system uh, Python and in uh, local compiled Python, uh, user local and side packages. And if you want to uh, just use helper tools to move the files to the right location, uh, you can not touch anything and it will work. But if the, uh, if uh, you're a module uh, hard codes uh, paths at uh, build time, it's better to pass install layout uh, dep to set up, set up uh, py install call so that uh, the right locations will be uh, hard code. Or if you want to uh, install, if you are uh, packaging Python applications, you can also use install lib and install scripts uh, um, commands. Uh, and for example, uh, install uh, files to user share uh, package name. Uh, this way uh, you can avoid um, polluting global namespace because uh, Python applications usually uh, have mo provide module names, uh, really common uh, module names. So uh, this way you can easily mm, uh, conflict with uh, other packages. Uh, and uh, also uh, install lib user share uh, package name uh, provides a way to avoid uh, current keyword in Python uh, Central, because uh, uh, Python Central has a feature to uh, compile Py files only to one uh, Python version at the same time, the current one or uh, uh, the current one, current uh, uh, with the uh, uh, mm, with the minimal version uh, required by uh, module. And uh, later you just have to, in Debian uh, control, add uh, mm, Python depends to the depend uh, line, and that's pretty much all what you have to do for mm, uh, simple uh, modules or uh, applications. So next, dhpython. dhpython is the first uh, helper tool. Uh, it doesn't uh, really do much. It uh, mm, fills in the Python depends, so creates dependencies on uh, the minimum required Python version. If there are any Python versions hard code in Shebangs, it will add it to the, the Python version uh, required to the um, depends. It will uh, delete uh, PyC and PyO files that uh, should, not, should not end in the binary packages. It will also uh, take care of creating these files at install time and uh, remove them uh, later when package is uh, removed. 
Python Central is uh, first uh, of the new uh, helpers, which will uh, complicate uh, things a little bit at install time, because uh, uh, both Python Central and Python Support uh, create symlinks to the mm, in the mm, Python uh, currently supported Python uh, versions at uh, at install time. So uh, they both uh, ship files in user share Python free Python uh, shared by shared and. Uh, uh, later at install time, create uh, symlinks in uh, in the locations uh, which are uh, recognized by interpreter. So Python central first to feed it with the to feed the by versions command I uh, introduced uh, before. Uh, you have to add uh, in the source section on, of Debian uh, control file. You have to add uh, XS Python version uh, with, uh, for example, all or current or uh, minimum required uh, Python version. Uh, actually, we don't. Uh, all is already uh, de deprecated, and current is already deprecated, and we do not. Uh, uh, recommend to use all. Instead, uh, please use the minimum, really, uh, really uh, minimum Python version, uh, because there are quite some packages that just declared all, and uh, maintainer didn't really uh, check it with the uh, minimum version. And uh, Python uh, support and Python uh, central try to compile. If you put all here. Uh, both of them will try to compile uh, py files to uh, for all python versions and uh, for example uh, by remo removing python 2.4 uh, a few months ago uh, we noticed that not uh, all uh, that some new packages uh, are still if uh, python 2.4 is still installed and uh, uh, maintainer of new package didn't uh, uh, correctly set the minimum version uh, files for uh, python 2.4 were still compiled and uh, sometimes failed uh, due to for example syntax changes so please uh, try to set the minimum version if even if you uh, don't know it's probably better to, to set it to the minimum version you tested uh, your package with uh, rather than uh, all. Then if in Python uh, central you have to uh, provide uh, another field in all binary packages uh, that uh, use, that provide, uh, that ship uh, py files, you have to uh, set xb python version uh, field uh, with exactly uh, this value. Please don't uh, put uh, versions or any other strings in uh, this field uh, uh, because Python versions will be replaced by uh, helper tools with uh, versions actually uh, tested with at build time uh, with, um, uh, with uh, Python versions that this binary package works with. So, for example, if uh, a binary package uh, provides extensions, it will list uh, mm, versions uh, that uh, package uh, uh, ships uh, extensions for uh, which uh, versions for which extensions are shipped. Uh, if you use DH, uh, you have to uh, invoke the age with uh, the age with with Pi Central uh, switch because by default the age uh, is using uh, uh, Python support and, and in CDBS all you have to do is to add uh, mm, that Python system Pi Central line uh, at the mm, start of uh, Debian rules. Uh, file. Uh, all packages uh, created in uh, Lenny uh, had a back 
uh, and they are not uh, removing PyC uh, files at uh, upgrades. And this will be a problem uh, while uh, learning to squeeze upgrades because uh, uh, many packages uh, were converted to Python support and, and uh, even uh, for those which uh, were not converted, uh, this bug will, uh, will create some mess because uh, uh, even if uh, packages uh, still, mm, even if package still uses uh, Python central, the, if the list of files changed uh, from Lenny to Squeeze, uh, the PyC files will not be removed. And for example, if a uh, module was uh, in a file and now is a Python package, so there is a, a directory with initPy uh, file and uh, all other parts of the module are moved there, uh, and Python will, uh, will uh, have problems recognizing, uh, actually it will choose only one of them. So if you uh, think uh, uh, one of them should be used, you can be surprised that the uh, other one uh, is actually used by Python. So uh, there's a, in uh, squeeze version on f uh, of Python, there's a, a trigger which tries to remove all the uh, files that do not belong to any package. So it should not be uh, that of problem anymore. Uh, but uh, please don't remove uh, um, your maintainer scripts that uh, mm, uh, clean uh, after Python uh, central. The next helper is actually the mm, preferred one. Uh, most packages now use Python support, so if you don't know what to choose, just choose the Python support and uh, uh, it will be the right choice uh, most of the times. Uh, you actually have to choose Python central only if uh, other packages that use the same namespace, uh, y if your package use the same, uses the same namespace that other packages. And in all, all other cases, just choose Python support. In DH Python, you don't even have to uh, do anything else. It will be used by default. Uh, you can use the same field Python Central uses to um, describe supported versions, or you can use uh, Debian Py versions file, which has a little bit different uh, syntax. I, mm, I didn't like it at first. Uh, I actually mm, found it really ugly, but after uh, implementing DH Python, I started to like it and uh, even used something really similar. Uh, 2.4 minus means uh, that uh, this package supports uh, Python 2.4 or any later version. Uh, mm, this is how you uh, describe a range. Uh, 2.4 uh, 2.2 is the minimum Python version, 2.6 uh, is the maximum uh, required, maximum uh, supported version, and 2.6 is uh, included in the, uh, in the list. Um, if, you just, if your package supports uh, every Python version uh, less or equal 2.7, just use something like this, and if your package uh, uses only one, uh, is compatible only with one Python version, just list it uh, like this. As I said before, uh, Python support is uh, default in DH, so you can just use the uh, tiny version of uh, Debian rules available in uh, Dev Helper's uh, examples, or add at the top of Debian rules a line uh, with uh, the Python system uh, Py support, if you use CDBS. Python support uh, creates uh, the symlink farm in uh, triggers. 
So if you um, if your package uh, has to work at uh, uh, install time uh, before, uh, for example, if you want to start a daemon or or uh, actually import uh, some of your modules, you have to invoke uh, update Python modules minus p command so that uh, it will speed up the the process where uh, PyC files are created, uh, but uh, use it only if uh, if you really have to, because uh, this command uh, is uh, rather slow, because it has to uh, check all the installed uh, packages and uh, check if the files PyC files are still uh, needed and uh, so on. So it's slow. Use it only if you really have to. Uh, another feature uh, that distinguish uh, Python support from other helper tools is uh, namespace feature. Uh, Python support uh, tries to uh, to avoid uh, mm, providing a common package or uh, providing a namespace. Namespace is in Python is uh, declared by uh, slash slash uh, underscore underscore init uh, underscore underscore py uh, file. And if this file is missing, uh, the Python package will not uh, will not be recognized by interpreter. And uh, uh, Python support uh, creates these uh, files in directories where uh, this file is missing. So that uh, uh, two different uh, packages, binary packages that pr uh, use the same namespace, don't have to uh, provide this file. So they will not conflict with each other. They, mm, you don't have to uh, provide a third package that will just ship this one file, or mm, not uh, to mm, provide it to one file and depend on the uh, second package in in the first one. Uh, Python support will uh, do it for you. Create uh, these files and at uh, install time type while update Python. Uh, modules is uh, invoked. So next are two helper tools uh, written by me uh, recently, and uh, both tools are available with uh, uh, interpreter Python, uh, interpreter packages, dhpython2 in uh, Python package and uh, dhpython3 in Python uh, free package, so you don't have to depend on uh, any external uh, packages. Uh, also, binary packages uh, um, that use these helper tools uh, don't have to depend uh, on any other uh, packages. All is included in Python. So advantages of DH Python 3. Uh, all files are included in the package. That means uh, all symlinks are provided by the bin binary packages. There is no, uh, no way to fail at install time uh, while creating uh, symlinks. Uh, you don't have to invoke uh, uh, any tool to create namespaces and so on. Everything is available uh, out of the box. Uh, you can start daemons at, uh, in your maintainer scripts. Uh, it, you don't have to wait for uh, PyC files being created because Python, if uh, PyC files are not there, will just use uh, source files. And, uh, this makes upgrades uh, really friendly and fast. There is one big problem with this approach that makes uh, these uh, tools uh, not uh, really friendly adopted so far. Uh, it's the fact that uh, binary, uh, that architecture independent packages will have to be uh, rebuilt uh, when a new Python version is uh, added to the supported versions. Um, it's easy when your package uh, 
uh, provides extensions because you have to uh, rebuild uh, the package anyway, but uh, all other uh, tools, helper tools, Python support and Python uh, central didn't require a new uh, upload when uh, when new version was uh, added to the uh, supported uh, ones. This helper uh, requires this. DH Python 3 will ha will not require it because uh, it uses some different uh, techniques. I will talk about uh, later. But DH Python 2 uh, unfortunately requires. Um, uploads whenever new version is introduced. You don't really have to uh, upload new uh, package if uh, version is uh, removed from the supported ones um, because uh, um, PyC files uh, will be removed anyway when you remove or upgrade package, but uh, you have to uh, up, uh, rebuild uh, package when a uh, new version is added. Uh, this uh, helper handles debug packages, uh, so it uh, removes py files uh, from debug packages, uh, generates uh, uh, dependencies. You don't have to worry much about it uh, like in other tools because in uh, uh, Python Central or in uh, Python support, you you had to do all this stuff manually, and additionally, in Python uh, support, uh, GDB didn't uh, recognize uh, files in uh, uh, in the locations uh, that Python support uses by default because uh, GDB uh, tries to uh, load uh, the back extensions from the same location where uh, runtime files are available. So when uh, Python support ships files in one uh, directory and then uh, at install time uh, creates uh, symlinks uh, in different place, uh, GDB tries to uh, load files from the mm, same location as uh, the runtime by adding the user debug first. Uh, it's, it's not a problem in, in DHPython uh, 2 because uh, it uses the same locations uh, at build time, at uh, and in binary package, and, and in uh, install time. So uh, GDB will work uh, as expected. Uh, another advantage, uh, advantage of uh, this helper is that it's really fast. I mm, made a little change in Python interpreter itself. And uh, I can now, uh, for example, if you have uh, two cores, uh, it will mm, try to uh, generate PyC files at the same time for different versions. So if we currently support Python 2.5 and Python 2.6, it will uh, create uh, uh, byte compile files and uh, create uh, these uh, cache files in, in, at the same time. You don't even have to wait for it to finish uh, because uh, PyC files are uh, already in the package, so it will work out of the box even without uh, PyC files. So how to describe supported uh, versions in Python 2.5? Just use one of the previous versions. There are some differences uh, in the uh, Debian Py versions file actually, but uh, it will be, it's a bug uh, on my, my site, it will be fixed soon. You can, so recommended way is to use uh, X as uh, Python version field, uh, the one which is recognized by all other uh, tools. Um, if you use uh, DH Python, you just have to add, invoke uh, a DH with uh, Python 2 attack, uh, if in, and it will, uh, it will use DHPython2 instead uh, default uh, DHPython support. Uh, if you, uh, DHPython2 by default tries to read, uh, tries to do something like uh, van pydep does, 
uh, it uh, will uh, read uh, all the metadata uh, um, provided by in X and uh, try to translate them to uh, Debian dependencies. Uh, if uh, your upstream didn't list all the dependencies, you can uh, invoke the HPython tool with uh, something like this. This is what uh, what upstream should put in uh, requires take, in takes the file, but you can also uh, add it here and it will be translated into uh, Debian dependencies. This is actually uh, another advantage of uh, DHPython 2 because you can uh, provide a um, PyDist file which will uh, um, help DHPython to translate this, uh, um, this uh, upstream requirements into uh, Debian packages. Uh, you can use it uh, on like this uh, to only translate uh, um, Python distribution names to Python packages. You can uh, tell uh, DHPython that this uh, package uh, uses uh, PEP 382 uh, standard so that it will apply all the rules or you can add uh, uh, regular expressions that will translate or use both of them. Uh, regular expressions that uh, uh, convert uh, upstream version uh, scheme to, to Debian 1. Uh, if you don't want uh, versions to be translated, just add a version to the PyDist file and uh, DHPython will not try to, uh, to translate it. And you can also use it if, you're, if you know that your upstream uh, is uh, breaking up your ABI uh, from time to time and you can predict it. Something like this happened recently in NumPy. And uh, if you create PyDist uh, that look like, uh, looks like this, uh, DHPython will create uh, um, this, add this dependency on to every uh, binary package that uh, uh, has NumPy in uh, requires.txt or in uh, one of these uh, commands. Uh, if you put it in, in depends, it will add to uh, this uh, line to uh, depends, uh, recommends to re uh, recommends, and, and so on. Uh, if you don't like what uh, maintainer or upstream uh, declared, you can overwrite it with in your package uh, in uh, Debian PyDist overwrites file. Uh, you can use in both uh, this file overwrites uh, use the same syntax as uh, as PyDist uh, files. You can uh, you can in both uh, cases you can uh, use multiple lines. For example, if your uh, package provides more than one uh, mm, uh, Python distribution, and uh, as I said before, uh, we have a separate stack for uh, Python two and Python three, and uh, DH Python uh, will two will ignore all binary packages that start with uh, Python 3 uh, prefix and Python 3, uh, uh, DHPython 3 will ignore all Python uh, packages. Uh, other uh, differences are um, that user share by shared will not be used uh, um, at all because uh, in Python 3.2 there are some major changes uh, described in PEP 3147 and uh, 3149. Uh, I will talk a little bit uh, uh, about them in a moment. Uh, and to, uh, to use the HPython in uh, Dev Helper, just add Python 3 to, to the width. Uh, you can use uh, Python, for example, Python support with uh, Python uh, 2 and uh, Python, DH Python 3 with uh, uh, packages uh, that use um, Python uh, 3. Uh, if you don't like uh, the fact that uh, DH Python 2 requires uh, new uh, uploads every time 
um, new version is introduced. Uh, PyDist files are also also available in DH Python three. Um, mm, it's just a single change. You have to add three to the file name, and uh, DH Python first will install. If you create such file, you don't have to worry about uh, in installing it. Uh, DH Python will it's install it, and uh, to override. Uh, um, what upstream or, or maintainer wanted uh, to put in the pants, just use um, overrides. Okay, I will speed uh, things up a little bit because we have five minutes left. Left. So, uh, uh, Fab Three One Four Seven. It uh, um, creates. Uh, it changes Python mechanism of uh, Python import mechanism a little bit, so that uh, we will be able to use common directory for uh, Python source file, and it will uh, create. Uh, it will look for uh, PyC files in new directory PyCache. Um, the file will uh, contain uh, mm, mm, Python version or or Abi that uh, this file, this um, the interpreter will look for. Uh, the same directory will contain, uh, for example, can contain, for example, uh, files for Unload and Swallow or or uh, other uh, Python versions. So there will be one directory with uh, common file and uh, uh, PyC files will be created in mean subdirectory called PyCache. Uh, but this will work only for source uh, files and uh, only for files that uh, are not changed among uh, Python versions. For extensions, uh, there's a, another pep uh, that will allow uh, sharing uh, the same directory for different extensions. Uh, extensions cannot be shared, uh, so uh, the Python itself will be changed to to look for uh, not for only for foo dot so, but also for uh, C Python uh, uh, version and, and the tag. U means uh, Python uh, was compiled with uh, white Unicode. Uh, this way, we can uh, have the same location for, uh, for example, the back uh, packages. Um, uh, we will not have to add uh, an underscore uh, D anymore. Python itself will care about it. So the final uh, files will look like this. Uh, there are two more PEPs that uh, will help us. Uh, PEP384 will uh, describes a stable API for extensions. Uh, some uh, API functions will uh, be declared stable, and uh, if uh, Python three, if you you will use only this stable uh, set of this stable functions, uh, and declare that uh, your uh, extension doesn't use the uh, different uh, functions, uh, file name will be uh, used like this, and uh, Python interpreter uh, will. Uh, will uh, use this uh, file. There's another pep uh, which will extend uh, uh, PTH files uh, that will uh, help us to deal with uh, source uh, Python files that cannot be shared among uh, uh, Python versions. And uh, mm, uh, about uh, our teams, uh, we uh, we uh, we package a lot of uh, uh, packages uh, in uh, both themes. We are really friendly. You can uh, join us. Uh, we hang on uh, Debian Python uh, IRC channel. We are uh, open to uh, Ubuntu contributors. Uh, we actually steal uh, a lot of developers from them. Uh, and later force them to, to complain about list of supported Python versions in Ubuntu. <laughs> uh, 
uh, we have some, our members are among uh, release, not uh, in uh, FTP master's team and uh, in uh, new maintainers. Uh, so when you, if you join us, uh, you will have some extra points in there. Your packages can be processed fast or, or uh, you can uh, find uh, application manager probably a little bit easier. And uh, any questions? I'm actually afraid that we we probably need to wrap it up. So maybe one question, because we need to leave video team time to prepare for the next talk, which is in five minutes. So just to see if I understood correctly. Uh, sorry, um, I'm Justin. Uh, is it possible today to package extensions or uh, modules for both Python 2 and 3? So f right provide now? both. Yes. Yes. Python uh, 3.1 doesn't use these PEPs, so it behaves similarly to uh, to Python 2. Dot, uh, Python 2 versions. So just, but uh, all Python support and Python central do not handle uh, Python 3 versions uh, for now. So you just have to use uh, DH Python 3 if you want to uh, provide uh, extensions or uh, files for Python 3. Thank you. So all you have to do is provide a new binary package because uh, Python uh, should not be, Python 3 files should not be in the same binary package and use DH Python 3. Um. If you have if you have a an application that uses mixed uh, Pyrex and Python, um, how does uh, how do your tools uh, deal with this kind of thing? Uh, mm, these files are created at uh, build time, so uh, helpers do not uh, uh, do not uh, do anything in this direction. You have to build. Uh, extensions at uh, the normal way and uh, later invoke helpers and uh, helpers uh, will uh, move the files to the right uh, locations. Is that what you asked? More or less, but I'll ask you more later. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Houston. So, thanks. Peter. Thank